requested a sauna video and I'm gonna give you one now because that's how I am. This is by the way the ladies dressing room and the other one where we were all the time is the, the gentleman's dressing room. Yeah, the gentleman's dressing room and the ladies dressing room. But because we are friends we always share one dressing room. Oops. Because with your friends you can do that. And now I'm going to show you the inside of the sauna. The interior of the sauna. And can you hear the sound of the sauna oven? Look, this is how it looks. And here's the thermometer and a glass door. And outside between the sauna and the dressing room we have here some nice showers. In Finland, sauna is regarded a basic human right. That's why in every condo building and apartment building there's a sauna for everyone to use. And this is a sauna in my friend Yusuf's house. And we're gonna use it now. And to use the sauna properly in Finland, you need two towels. One is for your body. Oh, it's almost falling off. <laughs> yeah, one towel is for your body and the other one is for your butt to sit on. It has to do with hygiene, but it's also nice when your butt doesn't get too hot because the sauna bench can get pretty hot. And you know, when you go with your friends, you can also be completely naked. But for you, so that you will not demonetize my video on YouTube, I'm gonna have this beautiful pink top. At least as long as we're filming. Okay, now we're gonna hit the sauna. <laughs> oh, oops. In the Finnish sauna, it's normally between 80 and 90 degrees. And you sit here for 15 or 20 minutes until you're really, really sweaty. And then you go outside in the snow or you go swimming or whatever. In summer, you normally go swimming in a lake. Look how sweaty I am. <laughs> And this is so good for your skin, it purifies your skin, it makes your skin really beautifully soft. If you want to have it extra hot in the sauna, you need this. This is called in Finnish Lerdu, and you do this. Oh, I, <laughs> I can do it again. As you can see, then the steam comes and it gets much hotter, and your skin will get much smoother. Mostly the saunas are in the basement of the houses. There's a sauna schedule so that everybody can use the sauna at a particular time. Now I'm going to show you what happens in the winter in Finland. Because first you go into the sauna and when you're really hot after 15-20 minutes, you go outside in the snow. And that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> I guess we have about what, minus 15 today or something. And now I'm gonna act really Finnish. And I'm gonna go into the snow now. Normally you go naked, but for you I will keep my beautiful pink towel here. That's how you do it. You can also roll in the snow. I could even make a snow angel for you. But then YouTube is gonna demonetize my video. So this will do for now. Beautiful Finnish snow. It feels so good. <laughs> Sometimes the Finns also do ice hole swimming. And that is exactly what it sounds like. You make a hole into the ice and then you go into the water. Like only for like maybe maximum a minute or 30 seconds or 20 seconds. And then you go back into the sauna so that you will not die of hypothermia. I went ice hole swimming with Maria Teresa in a public sauna last year. <laughs> snow shower. <laughs> I some fresh snow for the face. And sauna is actually really good for your skin. My skin is always beautifully soft after the sauna. And I think that's also the reason why so many people in Finland have such a beautiful skin. <laughs> Look, these are the typical Finnish sauna shoes. So you will not get frozen feet when you walk on the snow and on the ice. Yeah, maybe we should get back into the sauna now. <laughs> it's always important to drink enough when you go to the sauna so that you will not get dehydration. 
You could drink like multiple liters. Ooh. Here and this is a Finnish tradition, the sauna beer. The Finns typically drink a beer in the sauna or multiple beers. We have this non-alcoholic ginger beer. And there's also a tradition, I think, about the sauna makara. That means the sauna sausage. A lot of Finns eat a sausage in the sauna or after the sauna and drink the beer in the sauna. I guess if we would have a sausage now, it would probably be some kind of a seitan or soya sausage because we are such nice non-violent hippie people. Typically, you take the beer into the sauna and drink it there. We did also with the ginger beer. And I drink, of course, always a lot of water. I love Finnish sauna. <laughs> this year is called Vihda. And Vihda is another traditional Finnish sauna item. It is basically a bunch of birch leaves. Wait, I can show you. The best way to get a great vihta is you go to the forest in the summer and collect some birch branches and make it yourself. But now since it's winter outside and all the birches in Finland don't have leaves anymore, you can buy them frozen, like frozen vegetables, or dried ones. This here is, as you can see, a dried one. And I thought if I buy one, I want a special one because this doesn't only contain birch leaves, it also contains some eucalyptus leaves. And now because it's dried, we have to put it into hot water for an hour or something. We're going to leave the beef pan in the water now to soak and to get fresh again for us while we're going to enjoy another round of sauna. And after that I'm going to show you how to use it. Since it started snowing, I will really make a snow angel for you now. It's <laughs> kulma. <laughs> or it didn't happen. Now my is really cold, but it was definitely worth it. Maybe we should get back to the sauna now. You can see now the Vita is ready. And I'm going to show you now how to use it. Normally the fins would sit in the sauna while using it and having the door closed, but then the camera lens will get steamy and you won't see anything. So we're going to fake it for you now. And this is actually my very first time to use the Vita in my life. I'm actually a Vita virgin. And now, live on camera with you, I'm gonna lose my Vita virginity. And now, I show you how to use it. The Finnish sauna tradition is to hit yourself with a bundle of birch leaves. And I just learned from you, so I have to hit myself really hard. <laughs> is that hard enough? Or do I have to go harder? Yeah, of course he would do it naked, but uh, yeah, it's really awkward to do it with a towel. But it's, this is a comedy vlog anyway, so... <laughs> it feels actually really interesting. Uh, I think the purpose is to uh, have this kind of massage for the skin and to increase the blood flow even more. And when you do this here... The, the oil of the leaves comes out, and this is supposed to be really great for your skin, and I can really smell it. It smells like I'm here now in a, oops, <laughs> in a forest of birch and eucalyptus trees. So I can soak it again. Now I'm going to start to hit myself again. <laughs> it feels really, really interesting. <laughs> It brings to my mind this uh, joke. Yeah. Uh, stop hitting yourself. Why do you still keep hitting yourself? <laughs> but this is not a finished joke. This is the joke when the other one takes the hand off. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's an American joke. Yes. It's from The Simpsons. Oh, oh no, don't hit yourself too hard over the head or in the face. I just learned that right now. It really feels better the harder you hit yourself, honestly. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Never stop dreaming! After the sauna you can also take a cold shower. Normally you don't do this with a towel, but I will just demonstrate. Oh. Yes! 
Yeah, and sauna is really great for the blood circulation. It's incredibly healthy. Fins don't get sick. No, they do, but uh, sauna is really incredibly healthy. This change between hot and cold is really great for the skin and for detoxing your body and for overall for the blood circulation. Try it! We just finished the sauna and you can see how good my skin looks. And I want to tell you a joke to finish this video. This is a joke from one of my very first Finnish comedy routines. In Finland, the guys say that the women look most beautiful after the sauna. And in Germany, the guys say that the women look most beautiful after sex. And now I can't stop wondering how beautiful I would look after having sex in the sauna.